Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Seed of the Week Showcase. Now this seed is the name Hide and Seek. It's all one word and it's all in capital letters. Now I found this myself and I've tried to change up the seeds I review in great detail because today for you I have more of a landscape slash terrain seed. By that I mean it's got a whole combination of different biomes because we spawn right here. Right next to us we have a swamp biome. We have like the normal oak tree biome. We have over here the extreme hill biome and we also have a sand biome just about in the distance that you can see. And also we have a jungle biome. So there's a whole range of biomes right near spawn. I am doing this on Minecraft Xbox One. However, this is a classic world, which is the one map that as you can see here, this is the only map that we do have. It works on all console versions and that is why I'm showcasing it. Not only does it have an awesome terrain, it also has around about five villages. It has surface spawners. It has three or two desert temples and it even has a jungle temple as well. So this seed is the complete seed. It's the perfect seed for anyone wanting to start a brand new world or just try something new. So what I did figure out is that there is not at all one witch hut, but it's not really important because this biome is huge meaning that witches will spawn here at night time. So if you are looking for witches in the hopes of getting some potions, definitely come to this biome as you can see here. This is the coordinates of where I did spawn. You should spawn within two to three blocks away, if that. So if you are looking for emeralds straight away, I suggest heading to this extreme hill biome. And you want my top tip for finding emeralds, definitely go underneath the biome and look for cave systems. You will actually double how many emeralds you would find in the types of up further high type thing. Um, so yes, look for cave systems underneath the extreme hill biomes. Um, so let's go to the first point in the map and that is another small jungle. Another small jungle at the top sorry, at the bottom right of the map. Um, this does not have a jungle temple, but it's small. Uh, it's good to explore, especially if you wanna go through it and not get lost and you're specifically looking for a cat. Definitely come here and look for a kitty cat. So that's probably your best place. Now the first actual thing and loot that we did find was this. It's right next to it. I kind of feel like this should be a jungle temple and not a desert temple, but hey, it's it's got grass growing on it. When does grass grow on top of a, uh, well, one of these, it doesn't, it never happens. So let's go and see what loot is inside. Bear in mind guys, the loot may change with you. Check and get out. So we're gonna check it out in as much as we can. I'm gonna break this. So in the first chest, oh, that's terrible. Wow, that was terrible. We have bones, we have gold, more bones, iron, and we have rotten flesh. All right, it's getting better. Oh, we have a we have a we have an emerald. All right, so that's good for trading straight away. That's what we need, and a lot of rotten flesh. So use that for your dog and bones to obviously get your dog. So that's not too bad. It could have been a little bit better. That first chest was terrible. Hopefully you guys get something better. You may get exactly the same as me. Now straight away, not far from spawn, we do have. The, in fact, sorry guys, I'm going to bring up the coordinates for this one, which is obviously uh, X. 198, Y84, and Z317. I forgot about that. I'm gonna try and bring up as many coordinates in the seed showcase. Um, so this one here, this is the first village that we did see. So this village doesn't have a blacksmith. However, you can trade with these. There's lots of carrots, potatoes, and wheat. Also, also you can just trade with them like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some bread. Thank you very much, sir, for the bread. Uh, obviously, don't waste your emerald on bread, guys, because there's a whole bunch of wheat around here that you could use. Um, so the coordinates for this first uh, village is X78, Y73, Z328. So it's awesome. It's right next to the first temple, which like I said, it's just there. So it's literally around about 50 to 100 blocks away. All right, so the next thing that I did notice in this one, I've only seen one surface spawner. And the safest spawner that I seen was in fact a skeleton. So the reason why this is good is because you'll get arrows and you'll get bones. So definitely come here and use the skeleton one. There's a whole bunch of caves underneath as well, uh, which means that you can explore. You may even find more than one dungeon around here, but sand biomes are primarily noticed as for using or finding dungeons. So in the chest, we, oh, all right then. So we've got two name tags, which is a good start, especially if you wanna name your animals or your horses. Iron ingots, gunpowder, wheat, redstone, and a saddle. So not only can you name your animal, you can also ride it as well, which is perfect. Definitely a great surface uh, dungeon spawner. Uh, that's the only one I could find. I looked high and low and I couldn't see any more, but there, there will be more, it's just finding them. So the first village that, oh, sorry, the second village that I noticed was this one. Uh, it's quite big as well. It is quite a big village and I like this one a lot because it's built in the terrain. As you can see, this is literally built in the terrain. There is no, um, blacksmith but hey you can't be picky you can't be choosy oh hi you're sitting it looks like you're sitting down 
What would he give me? Wheat for emeralds. That's not a bad trade, actually. Um, there's another villager inside here. Hello, sir. They're having a nice conversation. This guy wants bread. No, thank you. Um, so, yeah, this is the, the coordinates for this one. This is going to be X minus 201, Y73, and Z282. And I think I've got the coordinates of this. I do apologize. Let's get the coordinates of this. They're not hard to find at all, but the coordinates for this are, let's go a little bit further down, X minus uh, 94, Y58, and Z349. So come here for your service spawner. All right, let's rock and roll to the next point. The next point, again, is another desert temple. We seem to be getting a lot of these. Um, before I forget, this is the coordinates for this, X minus 182, Y74, and Z minus, uh, sorry, Z is just 1712. I don't know, you guys understand what it is. So yeah, you'll find it pretty easy. Let's go and see what loot we get, we get down here. Let's just definitely break that. We've got... A lot of rotten flesh. We've got a whole bunch of gold, which is good, especially if you want golden apples. Uh, more bones, <laughs> more iron, more bones, uh, more gold, more bones. <laughs> We've got a lot of bones, 45 bones already. Uh, more bones, more rotten flesh. All right, that is definitely a terrible, terrible place. I'm hoping and I'm praying that you guys get a better one than me. But hey, again, another another thing right next to look. It's in between two villages, so it's, it's brilliant. All right, so this next village does in fact have a blacksmith villager, as you can see, it's right here. So the coordinates for this are X minus 216, Y72, and Z98. Come here, come and see what this villager does have. Please have something useful. We've been let down recently. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's terrible. We've got a hat, I'm gonna put this hat on, or should I say a helmet? Trade, you're terrible. Four, four diamonds for one emerald. You are the worst one ever. I'm hoping and I'm praying that you guys do definitely get something better than me. But yeah, that's another village. Um, again, we've got lots of villages on a small on a small seed like this. I wasn't expecting it. It is the complete seed, if you ask me. And now, before I show you guys the uh, the jungle temple, what I'm going to take you to is something very weird and strange in this world, and that is an off the map um, village. It's literally off the map in the middle of nowhere. It is the top left of the map, like on its own, very lonely. These villages are very lonely. They're trapped here because they can't get out because they don't really go into water. Um, you've got a butcher here, which that's not a bad trade. That's 16 coal for an emerald. So there's a bit, some good villages, some bad. Um, I, I do suggest not putting any land around here and keep these trapped. That way, that zombies won't get to them, and yeah, it's just a lot easier, I guess, to trade. All right, so the coordinates for this one are uh, X, let's just say X is gonna be minus 400, Y76, and Z minus 397. So not bad for me. If you guys ask, this is brilliant. I can't complain at all. We do have more villages to check out. I think I may have done one, two, three, four villages already, two temples, no, three, two temples, and again, another temple right here. So this is a uh, jungle temple, the first of its kind in this seed. Like I said, it's the complete seed and it's got good scenery as well. Like it's a perfect seed for anyone who's looking for a brand new star. Or like I said, just a brand new world in general. So let's go and see what we do get down here. Um, let's go this way. Let's just, let's just barge our way through and see what we get. So in the first chest here, wow, emeralds and horse armor. Well, so far, I've come across four emeralds, so I'm not going to complain at all. Let's see if this is going to be any more bonus. Anything else is going to be a bonus inside here? Chest? Anywhere? Chest is right here. Anything useful? Some iron. All right, we've got a whole bunch of iron. It's not the best. We haven't come across any diamonds, which is kind of sad. I was hoping for some enchanted books or for some diamonds, but hey, still a good start. You, we've got a whole bunch of things. All right, so the last place I'm going to be... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me just tell you guys the coordinates. I keep forgetting about this. This is X minus 217, Y92, and Z minus 345. Go to that location. Go there, guys, and don't get lost in this jungle biome because it's huge. This is a very, very big and vast uh, jungle biome, so be very careful. The only way you can explain the way to get out is by using the, right here, right next to me, I'm gonna go on top of it. This is like a river that goes all the way through. It separates the jungle biome from like the normal oak tree biome. So yeah, that's how you definitely know how to, or which direction to go. All right, so I do have one more thing to show you, and yes, that is another village. Look at this. That is like, the, I don't know, five villages? Five villages in one seed? I'm not going to complain at all. Another one which is on the edge of the water. It doesn't have a blacksmith, but hey, guys, you can literally go and live at any corner of the map and you will have something, where either a temple, a village, or a spawner. What can you, what What else do you want, guys? You don't, There's nothing else that you can want. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more of these episodes, be sure to hit that like button. Remember, the seed is hide and seek, all capital letters, all one word. Guys, if you have any awesome seeds that you suggest me checking out, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I've been Echo, have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!